Hello Grade 12s and welcome to the Answer Series Life Sciences videos based on our study guides. In this video we deal with Part 2 of Evolution in Present Times. This video focuses on resistance to antiretrovirals in HI viruses and beak and body size in Galapagos finches, these being the third and fourth examples of evolution in present times. We've already looked at evolution as a process that occurs over long periods of time. It's difficult to observe as scientists often rely on observations in history. Rapid reproduction in some living species, however, shows current evolution with natural selection over shorter periods of time. These are examples of microevolution or evolution within a species. For example, viruses, bacteria, insects and some bird species. As these organisms multiply very quickly, there's an increased chance of random mutations occurring. As the environment changes, for example introducing insecticides or antibiotics or antiretrovirals into an environment, or a change in climate in the Galapagos Islands, some mutations may occur that are beneficial and provide resistance to increase the chances of survival. Four observable examples of current evolution include insects, bacteria, viruses and finches that develop resistance to these changes in the environment. We'll cover the third and fourth examples in this video. Developing resistance means the ability of organisms to reproduce despite factors that would normally limit or inhibit or restrict their growth. The third example of evolution in present times is resistance to HI viruses in antiretrovirals. AIDS is a well-known cause of death in South Africa. It stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome and it's caused by a virus called HIV or Human Immunodeficiency Virus. The treatment for this viral disease is ARVs, antiretroviral drugs. These inhibit the reproduction of the virus in various ways. If ARVs are not taken correctly as prescribed, some mutant forms may survive. Over time, some viruses may become resistant to ARVs and this can be explained in terms of the evolutionary process or mechanism of natural selection. Because viruses multiply very quickly, it increases the chances of a random mutation occurring. Some viruses may develop mutations that make them resistant to ARV drugs and this introduces variation in the population. There are drug sensitive viruses and drug resistant viruses that have the beneficial or the mutated gene. The application of ARVs changes the environment and acts as a selection pressure. Mutant drug resistant viruses are selected to survive. They survive exposure to the ARVs, they multiply, and they pass on the mutant resistant gene to their offspring. A drug resistant population may develop. If only one ARV drug is used, only some of the viruses are destroyed, others survive, and more mutations may occur and possibly become more resistant. So patients need a cocktail of drugs or combination therapy of ARVs with two or more ARVs, each targeting different mutated forms. This is known as first-line therapy. If the first-line therapy doesn't work, the patient gets second-line therapy that involves a stronger combination of ARV drugs to block the replication of the HI virus. This summary diagram shows a population of drug-sensitive viruses. With the application of a particular drug, like drug A, some survive and multiply. As they multiply very quickly, there are increased chances of a random mutation occurring. A drug-resistant form may occur. With another application of the same drug, most viruses die out. Those that survive tend to be the resistant mutant forms. They multiply to form a drug-resistant population. Patients then need a cocktail of drugs or a combination therapy of different ARVs to destroy the various mutant forms. 
Number four example of evolution in present times is the development of beak and body size in Galapagos finches. You'll remember from earlier videos these birds are known as Darwin's finches and they're found in the Galapagos Islands. There's variation in the population and when there are changes in the environment natural selection is the mechanism that determines which forms will survive and which will die, whether it's smaller bodies or smaller beaks or larger bodies or larger beaks. Scientists conducted research over many years on the Galapagos Islands. They looked at the beak and the body size of the finches and their observations included measurements of birds, noting the weather conditions and the food available. They noted interesting data on natural selection. A drought acted as a selection pressure and this triggered natural selection. After the drought there was a change in the food available. Smaller, softer seeds decreased in number, larger, thick-walled seeds were more common. Due to the change in the food available, there was a change in the birds that survived. Larger finches with bigger, stronger beaks that could eat the larger, thick-walled seeds survived. They were better adapted to the changed environment after the drought. They survived and they reproduced and they passed on their genes for bigger body and bigger beak to their offspring, as these were favorable traits in this particular environment. Genes for smaller finches, however, were not passed on. Natural selection did not favor the smaller birds. Numbers of smaller birds with smaller beaks decreased over time as they couldn't find suitable food. After the rains, however, the population changed again. Heavy rains acted as the selection pressure and triggered natural selection. The rain caused the reappearance of smaller, softer seeds. Now the birds with smaller bodies and smaller beaks had the advantage or beneficial characteristics. They were better adapted to eat the smaller, softer seeds. Smaller finches survived then to reproduce and pass on their genes. Bigger finches with bigger beaks died out as they were not adapted for eating smaller seeds. Darwin's finches are often used as examples of speciation or macroevolution, but there is often crossbreeding between some of these finches on the islands, so species boundaries are not always clearly defined. This also demonstrates microevolution or variation within a species. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.